So to conclude, how does the filtered rows percentage for tuning SQL work? You calculate the percentage of rows remaining in each input table after applying the constant filters. You order the tables accordingly, bearing in mind that that ideal order may be impossible because of the routes between the tables, but get as close to it as you can. Then you do your reality check, generate an execution plan, see how the cost-based optimizer wants to run the query, see if the join order it comes up with is the same as that which you came up with. If it did, the query may well be optimal already. But if the optimizer disagrees with you, test alternative join orders. Use the leading hint or the orders hint to force the optimizer to follow the join order that you predicted. If you find that the query runs much better with your chosen join order, then you have to find out why did the optimizer make a mistake. And the answer, nine times out of 10, is statistics. Maybe statistics are missing or inadequate. Perhaps the histograms aren't good enough. Perhaps you need dynamic sampling. But the key to tuning any SQL is getting the join order correct. And applying the filtered rows percentage method to your queries is the way to do that.